Spoiler alert, it's not. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get rich. What is going on, my lovely people? It is so great to be back. It's good to be back in front of the camera. It is good to have sweater weather going on. I love the cold. Not too, too cold, but enough to have a little breeze or a chill, enough to keep the beard growing, amen, amen, and enough to actually wear a sweater, a sweater. Legend of Zelda all day, baby. You know it. But we are here to talk about something very awesome and very epic today. We're going to be talking about the easiest, but yes, most complicated thing in the world, and that's about how to love people. And man, is that such a loaded question, especially with now how our society is nowadays. We are so fixated on the things that can instantly gratify us and the things that instantly make us happy, the things that pleasure us the most. Nowadays, it's all about me. It's not about how we can help others. It's not about how we can look at things through a different point of view. It's all about what makes me happy and what can I do to increase that. I would even challenge that in saying, if that's really how we feel, if that's really how our society acts and progresses, then how can we even care about somebody, period? Especially in a relationship. The sad truth about most relationships is, even with that type of bond, and intimacy. We're still wrapped in that mindset of thinking, how can this person benefit me? Even though we say we care about them, even though we say we, we love them and want the best for them, at the end of the day, most of us, if we can be honest, if they ever stop serving our purposes, our wants and wishes, then bye bye <laughs> That's not love at all. Love was never about just using people for them to only benefit your life. It was about intimate communication. It was about truly caring about each other's desires and not just one person or the other. It was about being a partnership, walking hand in hand along the road of life. Not about you benefiting me till I get tired of you or just only fulfilling your hopes and dreams. It's crazy hard for most of us nowadays, but the only way to truly extend that same love and kindness to others is if we just treat others how we want to be treated. It's, <laughs> it's super simple and this shouldn't even be an issue at all. But sadly, I've seen it time and time again. People don't really know how to genuinely communicate and care for one another. It's only about how this person can benefit our lives. It's never the other way around. And honestly, for the most part, I would say I can't really blame that. Most of us were never even shown the proper way to love and care about people. Most of us were never even shown that love and affection, even from our parents when we were kids. And for those out there, like myself, I just greatly apologize. And having that basic, true, deep communication of love just kind of slipped our grasp. And it's been a long process for sure, for me especially, and I'm sure for you guys as well, to properly just care about people and to love them because a lot of it we have never gotten ourselves. That's why I'm so grateful and thankful to, for what Jesus did on the cross for me, the life he lived, the suffering he endured for us. We love because he loved us first. And that's not me trying to be preachy or anything. It's just seeing a standard and seeing a model of how we should treat people and how we should act and how we should care about one another it definitely helps that road along the way. And I just want to share one of my most favorite Bible verses with you guys today. And I believe it's one of the best examples of love that I could really sum up into words or even show you guys. And it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. And it goes, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, and it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongdoing. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. And obviously there's more to go along there in 1 Corinthians. Great, great passage and book. Especially the whole Bible. Might as well add that in there. Love is, in a way, complete self-sacrifice, but in a way it's also just caring about others as you would yourself. It's complete dedication to walk along with somebody and say that you're against the world together, that whatever problems you face, whatever adversities come your way, that you will make it through together. You are a team, you're partners. That includes facing problems, your annoyances, and your faults and failures together, whether how good or how bad or how easy or how hard that could be. At the end of the day, I'm not saying be a pushover and let people use you, but I am saying maybe think of things differently than from your own viewpoint. Maybe think outside the box into why somebody could feel the way they do, why somebody could just react the way they react. It's not about giving people excuses, and it's not about just letting people fail for the sake of it, but, but it's about 
showing that you genuinely care about somebody. It's showing that you're willing to stick with this person even when things aren't all happy-go-lucky. Even when the bad days come, you're right there because you're in it together. I think at the end of the day, we can be better than our circumstances. We can be better than how we were raised. We can be better than the people that have treated us like crap. We don't have to be like the people who have also hurt us. We can learn from our hurt and our pain and know to never share that with people, to know to never treat others that way. We don't have to let history repeat itself. We can genuinely care and love about each other like it was supposed to be in the first place. Now more than ever, we need love and genuine people out there. And I believe that me and you together, that we can be a light out there for people, that we can be a light that this world so desperately needs.